So in other videos, we've talked about the hormone leptin. And remember, leptin is a hormone that's released by our fatty tissues that tells our brain that we've got enough energy stored. And when that leptin level starts to fall, when we lose weight, our brain senses that and tries to pull our weight back up to where it was before. And that's one of the causes of yo-yo weight loss and weight gain. So then it seems like a pretty obvious question, why haven't we created a medicine to mimic that leptin hormone? You know, something that tells our brain that we've got enough leptin, we've got enough fat stored. Wouldn't that be helpful to prevent us from gaining weight or at least help to help us to maintain a healthy weight once we get there? Well, in theory, yes, it should. But it turns out that this has been tried a few times already. There have been a few different companies that have tried to produce a leptin agonist or a, a medication that mimics that leptin hormone. And they've even gone into clinical trials with it, but it turns out it just didn't work. Patients that took the leptin medicine didn't lose any more weight than anybody else. And so they just kind of stopped the clinical trials and gave up on that. But the good news is that because we have the GLP-1 medications like semaglutide and terzepatide, we don't really need a leptin medicine. It turns out that GLP-1 signal is strong enough to override the leptin signal in our brain. So when we have that GLP-1 medicine on board, we can really forget about the leptin because it doesn't matter anymore.